Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson we are studying the order of operations. And we will start with a review, namely review of exponents. Here I have 4 to the third power. Now this is just a shorthand for repeated multiplication. It means 4 multiplied by itself 3 times. It means 4 times 4 times 4. And we call it 4 to the third power, or we call it 4 cubed. And 4 cubed comes from the fact that if I have a cube with edge length 4, then its volume is 4 cubed. Okay? So I can write out here the repeated multiplication, like that. So we get 16 times 4, which equals 64. That would be the volume of this cube in cubic units. 5 to the second power, it means 5 times 5. It is also called, do you remember? 5 squared. 5 times 5 equals 25. And it is called 5 squared because it gives us the area of a square with side length 5. Here's some special easy cases for certain powers. This is 0 to the sixth power. This whole thing here is called a power, okay? And of course if you multiply 0 by itself 6 times, all you get is just big fat 0. 1 to the 8th power, you multiply 1 by itself. However many times you do that, you just get 1. And then 10 to the 5th power, so that's one of the powers of 10. There's a shortcut for that. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. All you do is write 1 and then zeros here. Tag as many zeros here as you have the exponent. 5 zeros. So we get 100,000. Now I wrote here the order of operations. First we do anything within parentheses. Next come exponents and roots, if you have any, like a square roots. We don't have any roots in this lesson. Third, multiplication and division. They are on the same level. This does not mean that you do multiplications before divisions. It means they are on the same level. Okay? The general rule is to do multiplications and divisions from left to right. However, if your calculation only has multiplications and divisions, then it actually doesn't matter. You can do divisions first or in which order, whichever order you want. Lastly, we do additions and subtractions. Again, they are on the same level. It does not mean that you do all additions before all subtractions. Normally, you would go from left to right, okay? In case you wonder that if you have only additions and subtractions, could you do them in whichever order you want? That is true also, but you need to understand negative numbers very well before you do that. So we're not going to get into that in this lesson. There's a little mnemonic to remember this, okay? If you take these letters P, E, M, D, A and S, we get PEMDAS. And that stands for, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, now we get to solve some problems. 10 squared minus 8 squared. Which operation is to be done first? Okay, it's the exponents, yeah. We have 10 squared, that would be 100. 8 squared means 8 times 8, 64. So we get 100 minus 64. So the answer is 36. This is almost the same thing, right? But now we have parentheses. So we need to solve this first. It is 2. And then we have 2 squared, which means 2 times 2 equals 4. Those were easy. How about this one? Now there's subtraction, there's an exponent and division. So which one first? Yep, it's the exponent again. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2. That would be 8. Then what's next? 
division. 8 divided by 4 gives us 2. So this whole thing here is 2. And then lastly, 24 minus 2. So we get 22.